Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of complex numbers. And if I talk about the question that is given to us here from this topic, the question tells us that S is a set which consists of mod of Z belongs to complex numbers. Mod of Z minus 1 is equal to 1. And the other condition given to us here is root 2 minus 1 into Z plus conjugate of Z minus I Z minus conjugate of Z is equal to 2 root 2. So it's basically mod of this entire thing. And if I talk about the question, it also tells us Z1 and Z2 belong to this set S such that mod of Z1 is maximum of z belongs to s mod of z and z2 the mod of that is basically minimum not maximum so minimum of z belongs to s mod of z again the question is asking us to figure out the value of the expression where you have mod of root 2 z1 minus z2 in the mod the whole square so we need to figure out the answer for this question and if I talk about the answer choices that we have here, the options are 1, 4, 3, and 2. So we need to figure out which one of the answer choices is the correct answer for this question that is given to us here. Let's try to solve this question and find the correct answer for this question. Before starting off with the solution, I would first like to tell you that please do subscribe to my channel and support the channel as well because it takes lots of efforts in making these videos for you on everyday basis and it is free for you but also motivates me to put up better content and try to make the solutions as easy as possible so you understand them in the better way let's talk about the solution of this question so it's told to me with the condition that z belongs to complex numbers mod of z minus 1 equals 1. So if I use that condition first, we know our complex number z is given to us as x plus i y. So I get from here x plus i y minus 1 in the mod equals 1. That gives me x minus 1 plus i y in the mod is equals to 1. So further if I try to solve this, I get square root of x minus 1 the whole square plus y square equals 1 because that's the mod of this complex number. So if I solve this idea further, I get x minus 1 the whole square plus y square equals 1. So if I just square both sides, I got 1 square, which is basically 1. So if I expand it, or let's keep it as it is here, so this becomes basically my first equation. And if I try to find the second condition that is given root 2 minus 1, z plus conjugate of z. So first let's find z plus conjugate of z z i know it is x plus i y conjugate of z is x minus i y so if i add both of them i get 2x and because i y i gets cancelled this x does not get cancelled so the x does not get cancelled you get 2x and further if i try to solve this also i get z minus conjugate of z so x plus i y minus x minus i so x and minus x gets cancelled i y plus i y 2 y so we have this so if I put that in the condition that is given to us here, it says root 2 minus 1 into z plus conjugate of z minus i z minus conjugate of z is equal to 2 root 2. So we have that equals to 2 root 2. And if I talk about this condition, let's expand this. So root 2 minus 1 z plus conjugate of z it's 2x minus i z minus conjugate of z is 2iy is equal to 2 root 2. So if I further try to solve this, I get root 2 minus 1 multiplied with 2x minus 2i square y is equal to 2 root 2. So i square here I know from the equation that i square is basically minus 1. So that gives me 2 times root 2 minus 1 into x minus 2 into minus 1 which is plus 2y equals to 2 root 2. So if I further try to solve this dividing the entire equation by 2 throughout that gives me root 2 minus 1 x 
plus y equals to root. So we have this entire expression here with us. So that basically makes it second equation. So from here, I can figure out y. Let's do that. So y becomes root 2 minus root 2 minus 1x. Once I have y as this, let's put that in the equation 1 and try to solve this further because we'll have only one equation then. So basically, uh, if I put this entire value of y in the first equation, let's see what I get. So we get from here x minus 1 the whole square. Instead of y, I'm putting here root 2 minus root 2 minus 1 into x. The whole square is equal to 1. So if I further try to expand it, I get x square minus 2x plus 1. Plus this becomes a minus b the whole square, which is a square. So 2 minus 2a b plus b square. So you get root 2 minus 1x the whole square is equals to 1. So if I further try to solve it, I get x square minus 2x plus 3 minus this becomes 2 root 2 into root 2, which is 4 x minus into minus plus. So you get 2 root 2x plus further. If I try to solve this, I get root 2 minus 1 the whole square and x square. So if I further try to solve it, I get x square minus 2x and minus 4x becomes minus 6x plus 2 root 2x plus 3 plus this becomes a minus b the whole square. So a square minus 2ab plus b square x square equals 1. So if I take this one also here, I get x square plus 2 minus 2 root 2 plus 1 x square minus 6x plus 2 root 2x plus 3 minus 1 equals 0. So if I try to further evaluate this entire expression, let's see what I get. So we get here x square taken common, I get 1 plus 2 plus 1 minus 2 root 2 minus x taken common, you get 6 minus 2 root 2 plus 2 is equals to 0. So we have this entire expression with us here. Now once I have this entire expression here with the quadratic terms, Let's try to further evaluate and see what we get here. So if I see here, I get x square 4 minus 2 root 2 minus x 6 minus 2 root 2 and plus 2 is equal to 0. If I divide throughout by 2, so if I divide everything that's present with 2, so 2 divided by 2 gives me 1. The first two terms, if I see, x square 4 divided by 2 2 and minus 2 root 2 divided by 2 is also root 2 so you get x square 2 minus root 2 minus here also if i divide by 2 6 divided by 2 3 and 2 root 2 divided by 2 you get root so if i put here and solve it further i get x square minus x square into 2 minus root 2 let's take the minus sign out from here so it becomes plus x and 2 root 2 minus 3 and plus 1 equals 0. Now, once I have this entire expression of quadratic form, we can solve this using formula method. So, let's solve it using formula method. I get b square minus 4ac. So, from here, what do I get is root 2 minus 3 the whole square minus 4a and c. So, you get here 2 minus 2 into 3 into root 2, so 6 root 2, plus 3 square 9, minus 8, plus 4 root 2. So if I try to further solve it, I get 9 minus 8, 1, 1 plus 2, 3, and this becomes minus 2 root 2. So b square minus 4 ac, I get this here. Now if I find the roots for this equation, I get minus b plus minus root of b square minus 4 ac divided by 2a. So that gives me minus b. So B, I know it is root 2 minus 3. So minus of root 2 minus 3 plus minus square root of B square minus 4 AC. I know it is square root of 3 minus 2 root 2 divided by 2A. So A in this case is 2 minus root 2. So if I further try to solve it, let's do it. So I get minus root 2 and plus 3 plus minus square root of 
3 minus 2 root 2. I can write this 3 as 2 plus 1 and minus 2 root 2. So that 2 I can write as root 2 squared. 1 I can write 1 squared. So you get a square plus b square minus 2ab. So I can write 2 root 2 as 2 into root 2 into 1. Divided by 2 times 2 minus root 2. So if I further try to solve it, let's see what I get. So you get 3 minus root 2 plus minus square root of. This becomes a minus b the whole square. So root 2 minus 1 the whole square. Divided by 2 and a I know it is 2 minus root. So let's keep it 2 minus root. So further, if I try to solve this, let's see what I get. So 3 minus root 2 plus minus. This becomes root 2 minus 1 divided by 2 times 2 minus root 2. So you get either plus or you get minus. So if I try to further solve it and get the answers for this question, so I get this 3 minus 1, 2. Minus root 2 and plus root 2 gets cancelled. So 2 divided by 2 into 2 minus root 2. So you get 1 over 2 minus root 2. That's one. The other one, let's find out. 3 minus root 2 minus root 2 plus 1. So 3 plus 1 for minus 2 root 2. 2 into 2 minus root 2. So this also becomes 4 minus 2 root 2. Both of them gets cancelled. You get the answer as 1. So we get the two complex numbers, 1 over 2 minus root 2 and the other one, 1. These are nothing but not the complex numbers, they are the values of x. If I just find the values of y using these values of x, let's figure out that. So we have this equation given to us. Let's put that here and find the values of y. So y is basically root 2 minus root 2 minus 1 into x. Since I have the two values of x, one is 1 and the other is 1 over 2 minus root 2. So 1 over 2 minus root 2 and 1. So if I put it here, let's see what I get. So y becomes root 2 minus root 2 minus 1 into 1 over 2 minus root 2. So root 2 common, root 2 minus 1. This gets cancelled. You get root 2 minus 1 over root 2. And the other one, if I put the value of x, I get root 2 minus root 2 minus 1 into 1. So root 2 minus root 2 gets cancelled and you get 1. So you get values of x and y. Now basically that gives you values of complex numbers. So you get the complex numbers x plus i y. So 1 and for that 1 you got 1. So 1 plus i or the other complex number you got was 1 over 2 minus root 2 plus root 2 minus 1 over root 2. So you got these two complex numbers. Now let's talk about the question. The question tells us after finding the complex number z, z1 is maximum value of the mod of z. So whatever is the maximum complex number that becomes z1 and z2 becomes minimum of that z. So let's find which one of them is minimum and which one of them is maximum. If I want to understand which one is maximum, I have to basically rationalize this expression. So to rationalize what I will do here is I'll multiply by the conjugate. And when I do that, I'm multiplying with 2 plus root 2 divided by a minus b into a plus b. So a square minus b square. So you get from here 2 plus root 2 divided by 2. Or I can further write this as 1 plus 1 over root 2. The second part of this, I cross multiply root 2 into root 2, 2 minus 1 divided by root 2. So 1 divided by root 2, i. So 1 divided by root 2. So if I see here, I get this 1 plus 1 over root 2. And this is also 1 over root 2, which is 1 over 1.014. So basically that if I see to find the mod of both of them, let's see what I get. So if I find mod of both of them, the first one gives me square root of 1 plus 1, just that. So square root of 1 square plus 1 square. So square root of 2. The second mod, if I find out, let's see what I get. So you get a plus b, so 1 plus 1 over root 2 the whole square. And the second part of this expression is 1 over root 2 the whole square. So from here I get 1 plus 2 times 1 over root 2 
plus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 2. So 1 over 2 plus 1 over 2 is 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 common 1 plus 1 over root. So 1 plus 1 over root 2 if I see. I already have root 2 and with that something more is multiplied. So that's greater than 1. So the answer is going to make it greater than the first expression. So basically this is your minimum value. So this becomes your Z2 smod. So Z2 basically you understand is 1 plus I. And Z1 basically becomes this because this becomes your maximum value comparatively to this. So this becomes Z1's mod. So Z1 I have gotten in this case is the form of complex number X plus IY, which is 1 plus 1 over root 2 plus 1 over root 2. So let's see. So 1 plus 1 over root 2 plus 1 over root 2 i. That's Z1 and Z2 we have got 1 plus. So we have both the complex numbers with us. Now let's talk about the question. So question is asking me that it's saying just multiply root 2 Z1 and subtract it from Z2 and find the mod of that and square it. So let's see. So first find let's find root 2 Z1. So you get root 2 times Z1. So if I multiply root 2 with the entire value of Z1, so you get root 2 into root 2 plus 1 divided by root 2 plus 1 over root 2 i minus Z2. So let's subtract it. So 1 plus i. So you get from here root 2 plus 1 because root 2 is common to both of them. So I can directly cancel this root 2 with this. So root 2 plus 1 plus i minus 1 minus i. So 1 and minus 1 goes away, i and minus i goes away, you just get root 2. And once you have just root 2, it's asking you to square it, the mod of it. So if I find the mod of the square of this, let's see what I get. So root 2, if I square it further, I get the answer as 2. And if I talk about the answer choices that we have been given here, the options are, let's see. So the options here are 1, 4, 3, and 2. And if you see the answer choice that matches here with the question, it is option D. So D becomes a correct answer for the question that is given to us here. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions on complex numbers. So we have been given two conditions. We solve for both of them. We found X and Y. We got two complex numbers. From that, we use the other two conditions to find maximum and minimum value of the mods. And we got Z1 and Z2. And once I got that, I put that in the expression. That basically matches with option D. And so D becomes the correct answer you know, for the question. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on JWE means. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, if you're enjoying these videos that we are doing on everyday basis, please do like the videos as well and do subscribe to my channel. And share this channel with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of questions on JWE. So they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on everyday basis. Thank you.